Good morning all. Now today I'm going to play with these, which are these little addressable LEDs, uh, NeoPixels they're sometimes called. They're the RGB LEDs in a little 5mm square chip with a built-in uh, driver circuit and you can cascade them uh, really to any length as long as you've got enough power to supply them. And there's a library available uh, from Adafruit. Now I want to make a little string of these, uh, 8 to 10 of them. They're in here. Yeah, here they are. And they come on a strip and you might think that they're pre-connected on the strip. They're actually not. They're um, mounted side by side, so they're not connected up at all. So I'm just going to have to break these off the strip like that and then uh, try and solder little connecting wires onto them somehow. Now I've noticed that uh, these have started appearing from eBay sellers. They're little PCB strips with uh, eight of these WS2812s on them and they're pretty cheap. $2.40. Let's have a look at who's selling that one. That one's the cheapest of them all. So yeah, this one's $2.40 free shipping and that is from VIP9029. So I want to solder them in a long string. I found they fit quite neatly into these one inch space holes on this panel. So I'm just going to uh, tin all these connection points and then uh, put little connecting wires across and make a little string of LEDs. Right, well that was a bit fiddly but I've managed to get eight of them in a string and I've got a little connector on the end for DuPont leads. So to do this I'm going to need uh, a three wire DuPont type connector cable. Uh, Arduino Uno I'm going to use, this clone one because it has these male connector pins. I can just hook this straight up. So this will go to ground 5 volts. Yes, I think these are 5 volts, aren't they? And one of these digital pins, um, I'll wait until I see what's in the library before I connect this up. I might as well use the digital pin that the library uses as a default. Let's just check the data sheet again of the WS2812B uh, LEDs. So this is it. Uh, it's a world semi device. Now let's just check the voltage of this. So VDD is anywhere from 3.5 volts to 5.3. So 5 volts will be fine. So the library I'm going to use is this one. Uh, it's on github.com slash Adafruit slash Adafruit NeoPixel. Um, and then in this examples folder, there's one called strip or strand, I think. Yes, this one here, strand test. So that's the thing I'm going to start with first. So let's go back and uh, download the zip folder and install that in my Arduino. So this is the uh, strand test example. Now we have pin defined as pin 6. So I'll probably use digital pin 6 for this. And there's a bit of information here. We've got the number of pixels in the strip. Uh, and in this line, those parameters have been put in. Now they've put in 60. Well, I've only got eight, so I'll change that to eight. Uh, the Arduino pin number, most are valid, so that's that pin six. And then the pixel type flags, and we've got a Neo GRB. Now I seem to remember that these chips are green, red, blue in that order, not RGB. You can change it to RGB. Uh, you just put Neo RGB, but I'm pretty sure this is GRB. And then the Neo kilohertz 800, um, this is 800 kilohertz bitstream, most NeoPixel products uh, with the WS2812. The 400 kilohertz bitstream is for the WS2811. So I can leave that line pretty much as it is, just change that 60 to 8 because that's how many pixels I've got. Now further down it's got uh, three lines here. It says this is for Trinket 5 volts 16 megs. You can remove these three lines if you're not using the Trinket. Well, I'm not, so I think I will remove those three lines. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. So I've connected my strip of uh, LEDs to 5 volts and ground here, and then the data line is connected to digital pin 6. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, compile that sketch and just see if it works. And uh, that seems to be working fine. It's uh, going through various 
color sequences. In fact, let's reset it so we can see what it does initially, which is these sort of sequencing and moving patterns. I think the reason for putting in the number of LEDs you have in your strip are to make sure that uh, the pattern sequences work for the number of LEDs you have, fairly obviously. So yeah, that's good. That's going through all sorts of different color fades and movements, sequencing, and all sorts. That's rather excellent. I suppose now the thing to do is to start looking through that sketch to see what can be altered uh, to do the sort of things that I want to do. Whatever they are, I don't really know, to be honest. Now, before you start creating huge long strings of these LEDs, just be aware of how much current they're drawing. If I turn on the red, the green, and the blue LED in one of these pixels, then I could be potentially drawing 60 milliamps, uh, 20 milliamps per color, and 60 milliamps times eight LEDs. If these were all on at full brightness white, uh, 6848, so it's 480 milliamps. Now, if you look here on this Arduino, there's a little polyfuse here, which is 500 milliamps. So conceivably, with just these eight LEDs, I'm getting very close to taking this polyfuse out. Um, polyfuse, of course, is self-healing, so it would repair itself. But um, just be aware that if you use lots and lots of pixels, you could start drawing quite a lot of current from the USB and you might have to provide additional uh, power source into this LED string uh, so that the USB is not taking the brunt of all the current draw. So I'm rather pleased with that. Um, I think that's a result, just basically getting it to work, getting some nice pretty colors on there. Now, just one other thing, before you rush out and buy loads and loads of these WS2812Bs, there is another RGB uh, integrated driver pixel LED available and that's this APA 102 uh, type LED. Now I just bought a strip of these. Um, I bought the least dense one so 30 LEDs per meter. It's a one meter strip. Uh, that was £11.42, $17. Where did this come from? Invotech. Um, but these are different to the WS2812s in that this has four pins. You've got 5 volts, 0 volts, can't read those, um, also clock and data. And you drive these using a fairly standard uh, SPI type interface. So it should be uh, possible to drive this without using a library, just by um, using shift out commands. But that'll be in in a couple of weeks and uh, I'll take a look at that. So because of that uh, APA 102 LED. I probably won't take this WS2812B uh, project much further until I know whether or not the APA102 is a better bet. So uh, for the moment, that's it. Cheerio!